For a lot of you, writing a PEE paragraph is something that's very new. Some of you may have done it in fifth grade, but now you're moving into sixth grade and this is a foundational skill that you're going to be using throughout your high school years. So it's important that you understand it and that you understand the parts of a PEE. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open up your notebooks and title this section of your notebook PEE Writing. And we're going to keep notes on this as we go. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain what a PE paragraph is, explain why PE paragraphs are used, and name the three parts of a PEE paragraph. So what is a PE paragraph? Well, PEE is a structure for writing your paragraph. It's the order in which you're going to put the different parts of a paragraph. And what is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences about a single topic. Typically, a paragraph is about five to nine sentences. So why write PE paragraphs? Well, one reason is that PE paragraphs help you focus your ideas. They also help you be thorough and complete in your response to a question. And lastly, it deepens your answers to show your thinking. A PEE paragraph has three parts, a point, an evidence, and an explanation. To give you a better idea of what a PEE paragraph is and what it looks like and sounds like, we're going to take a look at an example. So for this example, we're going to pretend that we're answering a question from a book. We're going to pretend that we, as a class, read the book The Breadwinner, and that I've given you this question as your teacher. I've asked you, in the novel The Breadwinner, what is the main character like? And you have to write a PE paragraph about that. Now, I'll go ahead and show you what a PE paragraph looks like, and then we'll talk about the parts of it. So this is the response that you wrote to this question. So you can see this response is a pretty long paragraph. It's about seven or eight sentences, and there are multiple parts to this paragraph that we want to break down. The first part of the paragraph is the point. The point is the first sentence in a PEE paragraph, and it directly answers the question. We can see here that the question was, in the novel, The Breadwinner, what is the main character like? And our point states, in the novel, The Breadwinner, the main character, Parvana, is made out to be a very brave person. We can see here that the point directly answers the question, and it's the first sentence in our paragraph. After the point, we have the evidence. The evidence portion of the paragraph is the part of the paragraph where you get some sort of quote or fact from the book that backs up your point. The third part of the paragraph is called the explanation, and the explanation is the part where you explain the connection between your point and your evidence in order to show why you were right in the first place. Now that we're at the end of this video, go ahead and answer these three questions in your notebook. Can you explain what a PE paragraph is? Can you explain why PE paragraphs are used? And can you name the three parts of a PE paragraph? If you're not able to answer these three questions, you're not ready to move on. 